excuse me, sir. There's a woman waiting to see you. Oh, yes. Lead her in. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is that your seat? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. What can we do for you? I'm uh, Mrs. Ajibade. Ajibade's wife. Hmm. Yes, yes. But didn't you travel with him to Abeokuta? No, sir. He left yesterday afternoon. But did he say he was going with me? Well, he told us here that he would like to go with his wife. So we had to make an arrangement for a family accommodation. That was why he didn't go until yesterday afternoon. He ought to have resumed in the branch office two weeks ago. So he's been aware of the transfer and promotion long before now? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have been arranging for the transfer and a proper accommodation for him and his family for the past two weeks. In fact, we were... Excuse me. Didn't he tell you all this? No, sir. And then you are sure you're his wife? We have two children, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes. He said so. He said so. And he didn't tell you all these things I was saying. No, sir. Then, it will not be wise for me to say anything further. Since this is a purely family matter, which I would not like to make do him. But, excuse me, sir. Yes? Can you give me the address of the new branch in Abiokuta? The branch office address? Yes. Madam, are you on phone? Yes, sir. Both her two men in the office. Can I give you my, my card? Uh, no, no. It's not necessary. I was only asking. So that any time he calls, I will inform him to contact you and give you all the necessary information you require. Sir, is he on phone? Yes, yes. He's on phone. He's on phone. But I can't give you any information pertaining to Mr. Jivade now. He will be in the best position to answer all your questions. It's nice. It's nice talking with you. Take good care of my kids. He told us here that he would like to go with his wife. So we had to make an arrangement for a family accommodation. Jesus, what does this mean? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Sarah. What is it? Are the children hitting? Yes, ma'am. Are you? Yes, ma'am. Then what is it? There is a man in the living room. He wants to see you, ma'am. A man? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Recognize you. Really? You are Mr. Pedro. Yeah. But this phrase. <laughs> That's a sharp memory. You still remember from the last time we came to visit Bodestica? <laughs> Bodestica? Yes. You mean my husband? That's what we call him. He <laughs> don't mind us. What can I offer you? Please? Anything you have. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> uh, so how are you coping? 
Well, we thank God. The Lord is with us. We are not alone. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I mean, physically, how is everything generally? We are fine. I and see. then, by the way, but they forgot to leave the address of his new residence in, in, in Abeokuta. Mm hmm. <laughs> that rascal. <laughs> but they and stick out. I've not even heard from him. He has not phoned me since. Ah. Yeah. Ah, ah. That's very bad of him. Did he tell you he was going with his wife? Yes. He said so. Yes. That is what he told his boss to. And the company made arrangements of a family residence for him. But he never told me he was going with me. <laughs> well, maybe he went with someone, someone else as his wife. Hmm? Oh, no sticker. What did you just say? Uh, well, actually, you know, since he had told everybody he was going with his wife, hmm? because if he told his boss that he was going with his wife, and he told us he was going with his wife, and he did not go with you. It's just an assumption. Don't bother. Anyway, do you have the address with you? Why are you bothering yourself? Eh? Why are you bothering yourself? If he wants to play a game on you over there, why can't you not play the same game on him also? Huh? Have some fun. Have some fun, baby. Have some fun. I can't do that. I can't play a game on him. He's my husband. Mm. And I'm a child of God. Come off it. Look, come off it, baby. This guy is sinning against God too. Huh? Do something. Come on, be strong. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah. You see? If a man does not show love to a beautiful woman like you. You don't need to waste your love on him. Huh? You throw your love somewhere else where it will be appreciated. Huh? Pedro, do you have a wife? Yes, I do. How will you feel if your wife begins to play game on you? I don't care. I mean, I don't care. Look, if I throw my love on a woman and she doesn't appreciate it, I won't waste my love on her. How can I love a woman who does not appreciate the love I have for her? If others are doing that, I can't do it. I can't play game on him. I'm a child of God. And I believe the Lord will intervene in my case. <laughs> Rubbish! 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 That is a bunch of rubbish! Imagine, the one I call my wife, at least she says she's a born-again Christian. At least she carries a Bible about. Rubbish! You mean your wife is a born-again Christian? <laughs> yes, she too calls herself a born-again child of God. Imagine my born again wife getting married to the Bible and prayers and locking up herself in a separate room. What a bunch of rubbish! Pedro, tell me more. How? The born again knot has taken herself completely away from me, denying me all my marital rights as a husband. Rubbish! She abandons me alone in our room and she locks herself up in a separate room. Whenever I approach her, I meet the door locked and I call, I call, I knock. I hear her shouting and praying in a language that nobody understands. Pedro, do you still love her? I'm not sure. She has wounded my love for her. My love for her has been injured because I have tried all I could. 
I have bought her gifts, presents. I have given her surprises. And when I try to explain to her, she tells me that I should wait until her fasting and prayers are over. Rubbish! Have you now begun to play a game on her? Yeah. I am starting. I am starting to play real games on her, baby. Real games on her. Because I am not going to throw my love where it won't be appreciated. But I am now going to throw it where it's going to be appreciated, huh? <laughs> Don't do that, Pedro. Fire does not quench fire. That will be seated against God. What do you want me to do? You want me to kill myself? Huh? You want me to kill myself? What should I do? I have tried and tried huh? to show her all the love that I can, but she seems to be too religious to stay in the same room and sleep on the same bed with me. Pedro, don't withdraw your love from her. Be patient with her. Things will soon change. You are a living proof that loving women can at the same time be religious. I see it in the way you love your husband. But he does not love you that much. I doubt it. In my own case, nature has bestowed upon me a wife that is not that loving. Pedro, why do you say you doubt my husband's love for me? He has warned us not to give you that address. Make sure you find time and go and look for him in Abelkuta. Understand? Oh, thank you, Pedro. I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. I've got to go. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. You see, I came here with intention to take you out to the club and have a nice time. But you have changed my heart. I will see you. Thank God. Okay, bye bye. Thank you very much. Here you are, ma'am. Thank you. Please come. Give this to Mr. Bobby. All right. Hey, what's up? Why are you in such a hurry? I've seen the Hemley to take permission. I must be in Abekuta before 6. This is just 4 o'clock. There's still time. And I may be late tomorrow morning. I've told right. him that too. All right. Bye-bye. Right. And wait a minute. Are you going in your car? No, I can't drive that long. I'm going in the car. All right. Have a safe journey then. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I know. Yes, I but know. But it's very big for our far place. Oh. Hey, no problem now. Because it's hard money. Because I will give you. I will give you. I will increase your money. Anyway, so when you enter. Hey, 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 h
Good evening. How did you manage to get here? You left me and the kids behind. Did I not tell you I have been transferred? But at least we should have made some preparation for the welfare of the kids. It is like you abandoned us. Can't you understand? So, what have you come to do? Are you asking me that question? I've come to see you, of course. You couldn't even wait to say goodbye to the kids. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What, what do you think you're doing? Sitting down? I should not sit. You are going back to Ibadan tonight. I'm not ready for your visiting yet. Going back to Ibadan tonight? Aren't you happy to see me at all? Bode! You, you, you brought another woman here as your wife. Who is that lady? But was that not the lady who came with your friends to celebrate with you that evening? Since you already know her, she needs no introduction. Oh. You were discussing together that night. You were talking and eating together. I never knew you were putting finishing touches to your movement. Look, Lady, you are going back to Ibadan tonight. Going back to Ibadan tonight? You must be out of your mind. Me? Out of my mind? Pushing your wife out at this middle of the night? Ah, can't you understand? I'm sleeping here with you tonight. Not in this house. Here? Not in this house! Body, you want to push me out of the house for a street girl? and push me out of the room. Go and get her out of that room now before I throw her away. I did not disturb her anybody, so I do not see any reason why she should come here and disturb me. Go now, buddy, and bring her out of that place. Now, buddy, buddy, now, now. She has done. See what this stupid idiot has. See what she has done. Can you imagine? Eh? Can
Can you imagine what she has done? Lady, you can't stay here tonight. It's not possible. This is my husband. And you know that very well. You can't stay here. It's never possible. Shut up! You are out of your mind. I mean, something has gone into you. I decide who stays in this house and who doesn't. You are going back to Ibadan tonight. But this, instead of dying on the road to Ibadan, I'd rather die here in my husband's bedroom. <laughs> do you know what you are doing, buddy? Do you, do you understand what you are doing? You abandoned your wife and children. For a mere street girl here. Who is this girl? Who is this street girl? Never! Let me! Never! Never you call me a street girl! Never! Never! Never you call me a street girl! Are you see me hanging on the street? Get up! Never! Get up! Never! Get up! Never you call me a street girl! Get up! Get up! Get up! What are you doing? Get up! Leave me! Get up! And that is just Let her kill me! And test you up! And will not know you! Get up! Get up! You call me a spider Get up! Get up! Get up. Get up. Ow. Ow. Body, ow! What are you doing? I said go! Go! Don't do this to me! Go! 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 Go, 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 go. Why you know you don't meet me? Why did you tell me? Instead of subjecting me to this horrible humiliation. Look, if it is too late for you to go back to Ibadan tonight, just sleep here quietly. Me? I don't disturb my peace. Bode. Yeah? Bode. 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 Jesus, what is happening to me? I can't stand this horrible relation any I can't stand this. Ah, oh, Jesus, why can't you fight for me? I love you, and I want to serve you. But I can't bear this situation any further. I can't bear this. You see? You said you have the whole world in your hands. Why can't you touch this man? Is any man too hard for you to touch? Is any man too difficult for you to change? Jesus! <laughs> Ah, Mr. Ayibari. Yeah, I sent for you. Sit down. Thank you, sir. I wanted to ask, how was your trip to Abekuta? Did you see your husband? Yeah. He's fine. I saw him. Thank you, sir. Hmm. You look worried. What's the problem? Anyhow, I, I once told you that I don't give up easily on good things. So I'm back on my request. What request, sir? How about tonight? 
at Africana Night Plaza. I've told you, sir, I can't do it. I'm married. I love my husband. And besides, I'm a Christian. All those things you're saying are not new. Look, I have my wife too and I have kids. When your husband is over there at Abekuta, my wife is in Lagos. But life must continue. I can't do it. Mr. Sajibaki, you are turning down my request for the second time. Now I repeat, your husband is not here, but you are here. Mr. Sajibaki, life surely must go on. I can't do it, sir. I can't. I can't do it. No, no, no. no. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Please, please, pull yourself together now. Pull yourself together. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry if I said anything to offend you. I'm sorry. Miss Sajibadi? Yes, sir. All the same. I will be at Africana Nights Plaza tonight by 7 o'clock. And I'll wait till 8 o'clock. If I don't see you, then I'll leave. If a man does not love a beautiful woman like you, I mean, he does not show you enough love, why waste your love on him? Throw your love somewhere else, somewhere where it will be appreciated. Huh? Why don't you kill me? Why don't you kill me? You just hate me for no reason. You hate me and you love other women outside. Do you know what you're doing, buddy? Do you do understand what you're doing? You abandoned your wife and children for a mere street girl here. Who is the street girl? Who is the street girl? Never! Be back later in the night. Don't lock the door. You're surprised at my new appearance. Well, I know, but it is necessary. Okay? Yes. <clears throat> ah. I'm out of I'm out of ah. You look so different. Where are you going? I'm out of we didn't hear from you since yesterday. Hope there is no problem. You told us that you will go and find out about the location of your husband's new transfer. Yes. Do you now know where he's transferred to? Body has decided to live the way he wants. Jesus and so, I too have decided to live the way I want to. Ah, ah. Matope, ah, you can't do that. Ah, no, 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 you can't do that. I mean, where do you put the Holy Spirit? You can't just decide like that, Mama Tope. Please, please, Mama Tope. It is already decided, ma. Ah. I've decided to live the way that pleases me most. Ah. Ah. No, Mama Tope, please listen. Please listen. I mean, no matter the level of evil your husband might have done to you, however painful the wrongdoing might have been, you have no excuse to go against the will of God. I mean, for you to deliberately give yourself over to sin now, just to pay back your husband's wrongdoing, will amount to willful disobedience against the Lord. Excuse me. Ah. 
Mama Tope. I'm running out of time. Ah. I have an appointment. Last 15 minutes, but something just told me that you'll come. Well, yeah, I have. <laughs> Ravishing beauty, you are. Hey, my oh my, you know, you're a rare model, Mrs. Sorry, Lady. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to stand here all day long? No, no, no. Let's just go to the restaurant and have something to eat first, okay? Okay. Well, I promise you a nice time. And here we are. What's the matter? I don't know. I just don't know. Why this sudden change in your mood? I don't know what is wrong with me. I just don't know. Okay now, let me be your doctor. I know what's wrong with you, and I'll give you a prescription now. You know what you do? Just go right inside. Mm -hmm. Take off your dress, move into the bathroom, have a warm shower, and I'm sure by the time you come out, you'll be just perfect. Mm -hmm. Come on. Don't touch me. I beg your pardon. You hurt me, sir. I said don't touch me. I shouldn't touch you. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry if I've hurt you. I'm sorry for this embarrassment. Why this sudden change in your mood? What's, what's, what's the matter? I can't do it. I just can't do it. It will be too much for me. The you guilt mean, will be too much. You mean you brought me here to waste my time? And why did you take me this far? When I was looking forward to having a nice time. I'm sorry, sir. It will be sin against God and against my husband. I can't do it. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. You won't go. I won't allow you to go. Please, sir. As a responsible man, I know you won't force me. I've sinned by coming here, but I don't want to go into deeper sin, please. I'm sorry for this embarrassment. I'm sorry. Please. Open that door and get yourself out of this room. Fast! Brought me here to embarrass me. Thank you. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Get out! Bloody fool! Oh. <sighs> 
My Lord Jesus, I'm deeply sorry for behaving foolishly today. I'm sorry, deeply sorry, Lord, for going to social estates. Forgive me. Lord Jesus, forgive me. And I thank you for intervening and preventing me from going into deeper sin that will have damaged my life. Oh, I thank you, Lord. <laughs> but why? Why is all this happening to me? My heart is wounded, Lord. When will you heal this wound and bring your joy into my heart? Bring my husband back to me. Bring my husband back to me, Lord. I said you give that thing to me. I won't give you. Give that thing to I me won't, now, but I, I won't give you. I won't give you. I, I said you give, you. give what that is thing this to me. What is this for? What is this for? Believe me. What is this for? If you move closer to me, I'm going to, I'm going to smash your head. Come on, smash it, smash, smash it. I'm going to smash your smash head. Smash it. Move closer to me and smash it and finish the job. Oh, smash it. I will piss it your head. Give that thing to me now. What is this? I said, give that thing to me. What is this? This for? is none of your business. What is this for? This is none of your bloody business, buddy. Give it to I me. I found this from your bag. And so what? I found I said, this from under the mattress. Give it to me, Betty. Give it to me, I buddy. I found this from the mattress. This is none of your I bloody business. I found this from the bag. Give it to me. You have been charming with this. Give it to me, buddy. You have been charming with this. Don't give it to me. Betty, you've been charming me with this. Give it to me. You've been charming me with this. You've been charming me. Come on, buddy. Call Mrs. Ajibade, please. Good morning, sir. I'm very sorry, sir, for the embarrassment I caused you yesterday evening. Sorry, madam? I don't know what you are talking about. Though. Look, I don't remember seeing you yesterday. Okay? I, didn't, I can't remember. You, you, I didn't see you yesterday and you didn't see me. All right? I'm sorry, sir. Letter is this, sir? It's yours. That's your sack letter. You are dismissed. Sack? I'm sorry, sir. I yes. say I don't understand what you're sorry for. Look here, woman. I don't remember seeing you yesterday. Okay? Please. I, I was in bed through. I slept through yesterday. So you didn't see me and I didn't see you, all right? Please, sir. Please. <laughs> oh, please, sir. Mr. Molade, please come here. Please, sir, please, please don't sack me. I'm very sorry. Sir. Mr. Ajibade is dismissed with immediate effect. Sacked? Yes. I've been watching her movement for quite some time now, and it's not been in the interest of this company, all right? She traveled for about two days without proper permission. But, sir, I, I, I thought she said you would give her permission. I never did. Oh, and that is not true. Many times she leaves the office at 2 o'clock, some of the time 1 p.m. And I've got to put a stop to such official indiscipline. Okay? So please surrender all company's properties in your possession, including the company car. Oh. Ensure that that instruction is carried out. Inform the security accordingly. All right? Yes, sir. Please, sir. Please don't do this to me. Please. Please leave my office. Please. Sorry. Please, sir. Can you please leave my office? Oh.
my job. My car is gone. My husband has left me. I'm alone. Alone with these two kids. If I'm suffering like this because I love you, why can't you do something? Why? Fight for me, Lord. Jesus, fight for me. <laughs> I have been to your office and they told me that you had left your home. I'm back. I'm sorry for all I've done. I have caused you a lot of problems. I have wounded your heart and injured your spirit. My day, I am back as a prodigal son. I'm very sorry. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, you have proved your faithfulness to me. You are a faithful God. You brought back my husband. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for bringing back my husband. Ah, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for keeping him throughout this experience, Lord. <laughs> ah, thank you for sparing his life. I also thank you for keeping me. Thank you for sustaining me. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you Lord. Lord, for the life of my husband. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving him a new spirit Thank and you, a beautiful heart. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Ah, oh, 
But all along we have been praying for you. Hey, praise the Lord. I appreciate your prayers. She told me of your moral and spiritual support. Mm. I'm very grateful. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> we are really happy to see you. Yes. You are welcome. Thank you very much, ma. We are told you came this afternoon. Oh, yes, ma. And um, our prayer and fasting for your family ended just yesterday evening. Yesterday evening? Yes. Exactly. That was why we were here yesterday evening to have some prayers with you. Mm. She told me everything. Mm. She said she even left you behind mm. to keep an appointment with her boss in the hotel. Mm. And when she was about to fall for the man, mm -hmm. that was when the Holy Spirit touched her mm -hmm. and she terminated the appointment. Wow! Mm -hmm. Is that so? Yes, sir. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> and this morning, that same MD terminated her too ah. and sacked her. You've lost your job? Yes, ma'am. Actually, I cost everything. Mm -hmm. I, I did not know what was wrong with me. No, no, Mr. Jibade, you know what? Just be grateful to God for giving you back your wife, your kids, mm. and your home. Yes, that's the most important. I'm very grateful, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, very grateful. God will give her another job. Yes. And I will work my transfer back to Ibado. Oh, that's fine. I will never leave my family again. Amen. 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 That's all right. And please, Mr. Jibade, um, will you come to church with her on Sunday? Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh, 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 yes. Ah, praise God! Amen. Thank you. Oh, praise the Lord! Ah, my top, I know you are not happy. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs>
accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Shoot your hand into the air. Rise up on your feet. Please rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. This is not the time to be ashamed. Because Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me, here, I will be ashamed of you before my Father. Can you walk majestically to the front? Because your Father is here waiting for you. To receive you. To call you in. To accept you. To make your life better. Not to make the fight go on upon you. He knows, he knows, 
Yes. Shall we just have some moment, please? That's wonderful. Is that not wonderful? I mean, I mean, this is great. <laughs> I have heard this song sung somewhere before. But not as the way she has rendered it tonight. When you are singing that wonderful song, that beautiful song, the Holy Spirit was giving me a special message for her. Shall we have our seat, please? Thank you. And I will tell you that special message in the presence of these wonderful children of God in this church. God says the Lord. Hmm. Stand firm, my child. Guide jealously the gifts and the ministry I have committed into your hand. Do not allow the devil to take it away from you. Beware. Be careful. Be watchful. Because I am going to use you beyond your widest dream. Amen. I will put songs in your mouth that will set the captives free. Amen. I will give you song that we heal the broken hearted. And now we cause your voice to be heard in many nations of the earth. Amen. Only if you honor me with your life, only if you hearken to my voice, and only if you do things that are pleasing in my sight, says the Spirit of the Lord. Let's give a round of applause for Jesus. Please go and have your seat, please. More, more, more. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. do things in the dark. I'm not hiding him. I've told you, one day you will know him. But sad day, eh? Let me know him, eh? Let me know him. Do you even know why I want to know him? Eh? Do you know? Okay, why? <laughs> Tell me. Sad day. You are very different. You are unique. You are not like one of us. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Shadi. I am fed up of everything. I have gone round enough. Eh? I want to settle down. It's high time I settle down. 
with a nice and understanding guy. But I don't seem to find any nice guy who wants to settle down with me. They keep passing me on like a relay button. Hmm. Shadi, I am afraid if I don't find a nice guy to settle down with, I will become a senior girl. And I have never liked that. I have never desired that. Never. Shadi, I know I have lived a very rough life. But that doesn't matter. It matters. It matters. See, you say it doesn't matter. Because you probably have not lived the type of life that I have lived. You have been religious all your life. <laughs> okay, tell me. Hmm? Tell me. What do you know about night gigs? Disco parties? One night stands? Even with men that you do not know, have not seen, or have never even met them before? Shani, I have been involved with about 20 men. <laughs> going deeply involved with about 15 of them. And when I mean deeply involved, eh? I mean deeply involved. Do you know that for some of them, I go out with them for as long as six months before they throw me out and go for other ladies. They use me and dump me. <laughs> they have cheated me. If I live in America, I would have shot some of them by now. Believe me. Amen. But that would have compounded your problem. Because God would have looked on you as a murderer. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm not already a murderer. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> you have visitors, ma. Who? He's made a deal. You are welcome, sirs. Good afternoon, sister. Um, good afternoon, sir. I am Reverend Dr. Ola Johnson from Deliverance Revival Tabernacle, Abuja. And here is Barrister Godwin Uzo of the Lord Reigns Pentecostal Mission, also at Abuja. But what can I do for you, sirs? Well, like we earlier said, we are from Abuja, and we are here representing the Joint Evangelical Ministers to invite you to the third Abuja Joint Evangelical Ministers Conference coming up very soon, you know, to minister to us in song as a guest music artist. Mm. Abuja. But when is the program coming up? Actually, we are very sorry to have come so late. Someone just told us the need to invite you as the female guest music minister. We have also invited Panam Pasepo, who will be joining us from Joss. And what's, when is the program coming up? Well, the program is coming up this Thursday. And uh, you will be featuring, say, on Saturday, 7 to p.m. But that's too close. I will be in the office on Friday till 4 p.m. There's no way I can travel 
from Ibadan to Abuja on Saturday morning and prepared to minister by 2 p.m. Oh, well, that's no problem at all. Adequate arrangement has been made to take care of that. If you actually be coming, well, getting to Abuja shouldn't take you more than two to three hours. I beg your pardon, sir. I want you to understand something is like, I understand that you are a worker and you are not in full-time ministry. If not, we will have arranged for an hotel accommodation for you. But uh, as it is now, we will be mandated to arrange for a flight ticket, a return flight ticket mm -hmm. to Abuja. And uh, if you are early enough, you should be in Abuja by 11 a.m. on Saturday. Our latest by 7 p.m. You should be back at Ibadan. All right. I will come. Thank you. Where is the program holding? Abuja Sheraton Hotels and Towers. We will arrange for someone to pick you at the airport down to the venue and, and he will take you back after you finish your ministration. Yeah. We just want you to minister to the people. <laughs> okay. I'll surely come, sir. Okay. So, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. God oh, bless you. Thank you. We respect you. Thank you, sir. Bye. I actually lived with nine of them. 
me. But they all use me and bump me. I almost poisoned one of them. When he pushed me out of his house and sent me his wedding invitation card a week after. Can you imagine that nonsense? But you have not yet worn that in, have you? Ah, sorry, you, my friend Shadi. You are such a religious lady. <laughs> you are so innocent. That's why you have so much peace. Do you know about evacuation? Evacuation? You mean the literal meaning? No. Slang! Evacuation means removing an unborn child from the womb before it matures. That's abortion, isn't it? <laughs> That's layman's language. We call it evacuation. Does that mean you won't commit an abortion? Not once. Not twice. Several times. You now see why I told you that I had lived a very rough life. And you say all this does not matter? Yes, that is correct. Let us reason together, say the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like a moon. Who said that? The Lord said that to you. As the heaven is far from the heart, so will I make your sins to be far away from you. Hmm? Is that also in your Bible? Terrible. However terrible your life might have been, there is a provision for you in the word of God. If you will come to Jesus. And nobody ever told me this. They all made me believe that my scattered life could never be gathered together again. <laughs> and I always believe that my sins were too many. I'd be your father. <laughs> That is not true. That is not true. In First John chapter one, verse eight to nine. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us 
for all our righteous things. Do you believe this, Miriam? I believe, Shadi. I believe. 